I don't, I know, you know, I said to um, Valerie, I was like, I don't know what they because they, they're so specific, these characters, I don't know what the fans are going to say, maybe they have a different idea about a red head, maybe they want some I know, and I'm not all, no white hair, even um, But, um, thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> Hi. I feel like internally I'm screaming because I yeah. did the Doctor Who room earlier and Jody was lovely and then seeing you here. Lovely. Daryl was talking about the representation for queer representation and how your the relationship is just like any other relationship and you wanted to educate people in a way so they understand and they learn and you being queer wasn't why you were in the story. Could you talk a little bit about, like, yeah. It, right, it had nothing to do about being a lesbian at all, a gay, it had nothing to do with it. It was about love, a relationship, us yeah. raising this incredible child that went through this horrific, a uh, 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 journey with her parents being murdered, her sister, my best friend. That's all it's about. And then, of course, then you add, you know, we are creatures, you know, that we are living in, in plain sight and always having to hide. That's what we have to hide. Not our love for each other. We have to hide that we're a witch, you know, or a demon or a vampire. And then to, to culminate into that we're losing who we are. We're losing our powers. The vampires are losing who they are. And the demons are losing who they are. And we might become extinct. Um, uh, so, distinct. So, um, yeah, that's what... That's what I'm yeah, I mean, there's no... Uh, there's no prejudice when it comes in in fact it's not even that there's it's sort of not even an issue it's not there's no and that's what's so great is it this it this is just this is it this is just who we are we're we're a, a couple like any other couple um, and I love that about uh, about the book and I love that in the in in the way the book was adapted for the show uh, we had one um, we did have one uh, uh, conversation let's put it that way with with uh, one of the producers um, we wanted to uh, uh, furnish our, the interior of our house with photographs from our from you know our past and stuff like that, so that it really felt real and um, our, one of the wardrobe um, supervisors, mothers, was a knitter, and she knitted us um, two pink pussy hats. And um, so I, we, we shot this, this scene where we, we had a photo of us with the hats, and we shot a scene where we um, were both wearing our hats, coming back with our groceries. And one of the producers uh, said, no, you can't do that. It's, it's political, you can't do it. It. And it's anti and I was like, it's not anti -trial. it's the women's movement. And I mean, if we and if we are living today in this world, we would have those hats. And we went to that march. And we went to that march. And we and that's what we have. We have a photo in the house of us at the march. The su super. I, and I went, I did because Deborah. I went to Deborah and I said, come on. And she was like, absolutely, you'd have those hats. You wear those hats. And um, and then Jane Tranter said. Totally wear that hat, and so uh, I'm I'm wearing that. Hat. And and the truth is, I mean, it just sort of doesn't. But if you know, yeah. Uh, and and I I said it's not about being anti this president. It's about the it's the women's movement. Um, and uh, so yeah, I got my I got my hat. <laughs> kind of going off of that, can you speak to what it's like working on a show? where all of the key creative decision makers are women. <laughs> Do you know, the thing is, it, it, I sort of... I'm not was not even well, kind of we aware. Were that's the thing. It's a little uh, bit like the relationship between these two characters. You just go to work and work happens. And that's in a way it's like not, not a dumb thing to sort of even highlight, but it shouldn't even have to be highlighted. Do you know what I mean? Right. Um, it, it, it's just it was a it was a working day and we had we had our um, one of our DPs was a was female. You know, we had a lot of female crew, but it was just like 
this is how it is and, but thank god for it and thank god that it wasn't in a way made an issue it just was a, a working day um, and that's how it should be right and, and i know we we uh celebrate a, um uh was it film film oh, yes. uh, uh, female women in, film. women in film friday and so yeah. we said oh but guys we need to take a photo and then when you look back at the photo and see how many women it was like yeah <laughs> <laughs> but as yeah. she said, while working, we're just doing our job, and we're yeah. having a time of our life, and we've been taken care of, and we're doing great work, and we come together, and blah, 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 and so happy, they're women. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> right, but, yeah, but you don't notice, and until you, we took that photograph, it's like, oh my God. Yeah. So hopefully that trend will continue. Yeah. Well, it won't be an issue, it's just you do it, because why? You're good enough to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not because you want to. Yeah. One of the things that I love most about the series is the importance of family. I mean, the family you're born into and, is, and certainly the family that you choose for yourself. So can you talk a little bit about how um, that theme manifests in your portrayal of your characters? Um, I think when you first see Sarah and Anne, for, for a large part of the beginning of the series you just see them on the end of a phone sitting in the porch sort of having long distance telephone conversations with Diana and getting terribly terribly concerned because then we're hearing about vampires and what, what? She's, she's not there with us like, you come home here no I'm not going to what I'm in love with a vampire but I think that um, uh, it's it, it, it's uh, I mean my god they care about her uh, they they are you know they have this they they live in this gorgeous sort of bucolic um uh valley in their lovely house and it's it's and they've been very protective of of diana uh but she's had to like any child has to leave the nest at some point and has to make their own way and has to make mistakes but um uh, the the frustration I think that Sarah feels is a frustration born out of deep love and care for Diana, um, and 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 also I mean you the the things that you know that you hold in your heart that you don't even share with me uh, are also born out of deep love and care for Diana and for her well-being. Um, and, absolutely, and also, for, for me, being an outsider coming into the Bishop home, you know what I mean, uh, and coming into this family, she had great parents. Diana had great parents, great sister, and then them accepting, not even accepting me, but, you know, and, and when I say accept, it's not because I'm gay or black or anything like that. It's accepting just, you know, someone that she loves and wants to break into her family. And I'm now part of the family, and... Uh, uh, and, 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 and then to be able to raise her child, this child, I mean, and, and, and uh, I'm try, trying to look for the word, um, given that gift, they've allowed me to help raise. And nurture. The, the, and nurture. Because yeah. you are the nurturing one. Right. But, you know, coming into the bishop home, because I'm not a bishop. I'm not a but you're a mother, but, but they also both come from, like, the mother line, yeah. the bishop line, go way, 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 way back. back. Uh, and so these two women also absolutely hold on to their heritage and it's crucial and important and that's the thing that they both try to instill in Diana is recognize your heritage, yes. recognize what you are, who you are, where you've come from and hold on to that because it's disappearing. Um, and, uh, and you know that is that is a huge part of the story. Um, the, the, I feel bad. I'm the only guy on the table. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> can I speak? I don't know. Uh, uh, I feel, I feel, anyway, uh, the, the the books have got a very passionate fan base. Can you talk about the first time you sort of experienced the book or read the book? What you thought of it, and what what can fans expect from this 
show because there's not much out there. But there's a hunger. I I didn't know the books. Uh, I I after I um, accepted the role on the on the strength of the adaptations, the script adaptations, uh, I then started to read the first the first novel. Um, and we've both talked about that and said, I mean, it's it's sort of it's in absolutely integral. You have you have to read the book because the book actually then reinforces you as an actor and gives you all of that background and, and gives you all of the texture that you can call upon when you're creating a role. Uh, but I have because I'm not very good at social media or anything. I have no idea about the fact that so I don't know. I don't know. Being your person, they are. But I just hope that they like us. <laughs> right, that's always. Please like us. Please like us. But because I am on social media, <laughs> yes, they are very passionate. But they are all, from what I, from all the tweets that I get, and I and I read everything, and of course, you know, following Deb, and uh, they love you. They're so excited about me, and they're so excited about us playing, and they and, 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 and they love the choices that were made that we were made in casting. They really do, and I, and as I said, I'm as I was saying at that table, I'm a huge fan of this. Harry Potter, come on, Lord of the Rings, I, I, so I get it. I understand it as a fan. I, I know what I have in my head, and I want to see that. But also as an actor, I am accepted to so things have to change, and I might. I've not made that choice on that actor, but I'm gonna go with it, and and you end up falling in love with me. But the fans have been awesome, just on the fact that they know us from our other work, and I think they chose wisely. <laughs> so, you know, I really do. Do you know what I also like? Um, just having watched the, we've seen the first four episodes. We've seen the sort of the the. Um, I mean, they still have work to do on them, but but we've been given the opportunity to look at them. And actually, what I really like, I mean, aside from the fact that it looks gorgeous and it's you know it's beautifully lit, it's you know incredibly filmed, considering that it's on digital. Yeah. And they've they've come a long way with um, the digital format now. Um, and it, I mean, it, it's amazing how how much depth there is. I mean, it's, it looks more and more like film uh, right. every every. Every day, but also I just think we actually all look real. We look normal. Um, you know, we we don't look sort of glossy, overmade. I mean, particularly, let's say um, Teresa and Matthew. I mean, they're beautiful, they're gorgeous, but they sort of look like real people, um, not like sort of. Hollywood celebrities playing these people. So I think that's, I think it sort of, it helps to really root the show. Um, because we're all, you know, you can see all of, not just our character flaws, but, but sort of just, we are who we are physically. And, um, and I think that's really good for the show. I do too. Uh, I totally agree. And it's, it's so important because with today's HD and stuff like that, I mean, I feel that the, today's HD is meant for sports and, and animals, not actors. Yeah. And so to have what they've given cinematically, it brings out the realness of the person. I'm not looking at, you see every pore, but it just is a sense of uh, roundness and weakness and realness as opposed to so high class. So you really touched on a great, uh, great point, just cinematically and how it's actually filmed, and then finding a nice balance between that digital world and the old film. Yeah, that kind of prefer. Yeah, <laughs> gauze over that lens and everybody flawless. <laughs> <laughs> We're done. We're done.